Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how I cured Georgie's dropsy. So as you can see, the dropsy is somewhat late stage. The scales are pretty pine coned out and there is a lot of swelling. Uh, this is him before the treatment, I'm going to show you him after the treatment. Alrighty, so this is Georgie around three and a half days into the treatment. And as you can see, the swelling is way down. The scales and the pine coning are way down. Uh, and his activity is much, much higher than before. He's moving around, he just looks happy, he looks healthy. So obviously you can tell that the, the treatment was going very successful. And in this next clip, I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Um, now, there could be a couple different things I'm doing off, or I could be doing overkill, but I know that this is all I did, and I was able to cure him from late-stage dropsy. So, there's no harm in trying everything you possibly can, because some of it might work. Alright, before we get into the video, uh, I was talking to Tiffany, and she told me that she wanted you to like and subscribe. It wasn't me, but it was Tiffany, just letting you know. So, George is still doing well, and I'm still feeding him this antibiotic laced feed which I'll be telling you about in a moment but he's still doing well the swelling is still down and all uh, the pine coning is completely gone he's moving a lot more than he was even just a little bit ago so this is how I did it so the first thing you guys want to do is get your fish in the hospital tank and in that hospital tank like a separate tank for everyone else you want to get a heater in there I put the temperature up to 84 degrees Fahrenheit all right 84 degrees Fahrenheit not Celsius uh, Fahrenheit um, you also want to get a little filter there to make sure you keep it aerated and keep the water, you know, like semi-clean. And with this hospital tank, you're going to make sure you want to put Epsom salt in there. I put around one-third to one-half teaspoon of Epsom salt per gallon in here. You do want to do a good amount because it really helps get the fluid out of the body of the fish. And along with having Epsom salt in the water, you want to do separate Epsom salt baths for about 20 minutes twice a day. And in those baths, you want to keep the concentration at around one tablespoon per gallon. And I also had two different cycles of antibiotics or like general cure, like general disease cures I had them on. I did four cycles of Furan 2 and I did two full cycles of general cure. One cycle is 48 hours for this one, one cycle is 24 hours for this one. So it's basically four days straight of just pumping, pumping this guy full of antibiotics. I also used some of the general cure and mixed it with water to make the uh, antibiotic laced feed and I gave him that feed. As soon as he started to show, to show signs of improvement and as soon as he started to get a little better, I gave him a little bit of the general cure. And when you do, when you start giving him both of these things, you start to notice the swelling, swelling going down, that's a good sign that you're ready to start giving him the feed. And the thing is, because it's a, it's a 48 hour cycle, you can't change the water while you're doing that. So you want to use some of the Safe Start um, water conditioner because this actually detoxifies nitrate and nitrite while your um, wallet levels might get high temporarily. So I actually poured a little bit of this in there as well because it does help keep the water quality at a better standard while you're doing the treatment. And like, even though water changes are good, you want to keep the concentration of antibiotics high while you're doing it to do the cycle correctly. But I did, yeah, two cycles of this, four cycles of this, had the Epsom salt in the water, did multiple salt baths, like twice a day, about 20 minutes, and now I'm feeding him the antibiotic feed, and I've been doing that for, you know, for about a week now, and he's doing great. I think he's, I think he's just about healed. But yeah, that's what worked for me. This might not work for you. You have to catch it very early in the stage of dropsy, because dropsy can be very fatal. Um, but if you catch it very, very early, you're aggressive with the heat, the salt, and everything else, you might be successful.